Have you ever wondered how or where you can get your start in nursing and what it would be like to be able to start IVs on incredibly large animals? Well, I might have the deal for you. This is the Microtech TAC-P, and it definitely can't help you with the nursing degree, but most importantly, this is a pretty darn cool little coupon that is made by, of course, Microtech. And every time I look at this thing, it just reminds me of a, an insanely large hypodermic needle that you use to like start IVs or do other things with. And I think of that because it just is the same general shape as a hypodermic needle. You have basically, of course, course this hollow bore that has a grind down to expose this portion and then a beveled tip for stabbing things. And while this is definitely not made to poke into veins and push fluids or whatnot, this is definitely could achieve a similar effect, um, but a little bit more self-defense-ish. And so, yeah, this is basically, um, or today I wanted to just jump into talking about this knife and going over what I think of it and its pros and cons. So, like I said, this is a Microtech Tac P. Hopefully you guys can kind of see that there on the inside. These things are typically made out of 410 stainless steel and they look very, very tactical, tactical. And I think that is for good reason. Not only do these things, you know, look cool. And I think most people, when they see them, they definitely want to know more, check them out, you know, stuff like that. But I also think too largely that, um, you know, Microtech was very thoughtful in their creation of this. Um, design because I think a lot of these things like the milling, like the fullers, the holes, of course, the many, many drainage holes um, could be semi-practical, but I think ultimately they were really put there more for weight savings. Like you can see everywhere on this knife um, is basically, you know, machined and that is partly to save weight because when you have a piece of stainless steel, obviously stainless steel is not very lightweight. So making a hollow tube helps with that and milling that that hollow tube out and making holes helps with weight savings. But not only do I like the way that it looks aesthetically, I will say I do appreciate how lightweight and low profile this thing is. And I think one of the biggest things that I do enjoy about this guy is that for its size, for its weight, it actually has a good amount of reach. Like if you hold this in an ice pick grip, you guys can see here that this thing has some serious reach. Like to put this into comparison as it rolls away from me. <laughs> um, like let's take a you know full size knife for instance. You know, you have a ABW, and I don't know if I would necessarily use this for self-defense, but you put this up against you know the ABW and it's about the same size, right? Like it's approximately the same size as the ABW. However, when you hold it in something like a reverse grip, you can really get quite far back on the handle because of how the handle is, and it leaves you a lot of reach where Whereas if say you hold something more traditional like a knife, you know, you hold this guy in a reverse grip and you get some degree of reach that's similar, but definitely on the little tack P you get more. And that's because this handle is more conforming or it forces you into a more typical handle hold. Whereas this allows you to really choke back. So if you needed that extra reach and distance for stabby things, this would really be a pretty cool option in that regard. Also, you do have a ton of texturing for different grips. So if you did want to grip it closer to that point for more exact, maybe IV starts, if you will, um, you definitely could do that in addition. But overall, I think it's a really cool blade. Um, it's not, I don't know if I'd rush out and buy one of these. I'm technically borrowing this one from one of my friends, but I do think that they are really cool. Um, like I said, I, I have not necessarily felt the need to go and buy one just because I feel like for me, the one problem with the TAC P is that it is incredibly like mission specific. And I feel like, you know, you would own knives like let's say the Black Triangle Group uh, Seneca here, for instance, for similar reasons right like you have a knife that is incredibly niche incredibly specific task why and I'm not going to take this BTG Senka you know just out to go you know do general you know like 
process cardboard, right? Um, I'm not gonna do that with the BTG Senka, and so you're also not gonna do that with this type of knife. Now, the Senka is designed to you know, go through metal detectors. Obviously, this being made out of stainless steel, you're not going to be able to do that. However, the one area where this um, knife will function well is if you're looking for something that is going to be incredibly easy to conceal, incredibly easy to carry. And I think that is where, you know, if you want something that's still an effective self-defense solution, but something that's going to be incredibly easy to carry and low profile, that's where this is going to win. Now, one thing I will say that I do not love about this package is the sheath. Now, to be fair, I don't think that the sheath could be done many other ways because this is still a ultimately cylindrical tube. So making a Kydex sheath for a tube is very difficult. However, the one thing I will say is that if you do plan on carrying this, make sure that you really do take use of this ulti clip or make use of it because the tension on this knife with this sheath is incredibly tight. Like it genuinely takes me two hands to pull this knife out. At least, um, you know, when, I'm, when it's not, you know, being attached to the belt. So do keep in mind that it is an incredibly secure sheath, but it's a very, very tight friction fit. So you're not going to just be able to pop this thing out and go to work. You really have to consciously rip this out of its sheath. So that is probably the biggest thing I dislike about this uh, tool is that the sheath itself is not the most user friendly. And like I said, it, uh, it can be a bit of a task to get it out. Now, unfortunately, like that's kind of the unfortunate part um, to this sheath because it's actually a really cool sheath. Of course, this one's kind of carbon fiber um, overlaid kydex. It still is ultimately kydex. But you can see, once again, what I'm talking about, just how thin this knife and sheath uh, package is especially for its length you know it is an incredibly thin package and so that just gives you the ability to put it wherever you need it to be so that is a big pro that i do like about it however once again it is definitely tough to withdraw so yeah that is ultimately what i think about the microtech um tack it is a cool blade hopefully you enjoyed the video guys as always god bless and i'm out